you think the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ can be proved? I don't know. I think that's a pretty bold claim. How would one even go about proving such a thing? I guess if we had a time machine, maybe that could work, but who wants to mess with the space-time continuum? I think we've all seen what a risky proposition that can be. Fortunately, Lobar Bill has an idea. I just said a moment ago that I think it can be proved, by which I mean that you can show that the best explanation of the established facts concerning the fate of Jesus of Nazareth is the explanation the original disciples gave that God raised him from the dead. Okay, that's pretty direct and forward. No ambiguity there whatsoever. We, we simply look at the explanation the original disciples gave about Jesus' life, death, and his rising from the dead, and I guess we just believe them? Uh, I don't know if I can go that far, but let's at least look at what the original disciples themselves said about the events surrounding Jesus' life, death, and resurrection. Okay, so here we are with the New Testament. And the original disciples of Jesus, if I'm remembering correctly, were Peter, James, and John. Those are the easy three. Um, Andrew, Bartholomew, James the Younger, Judas, of course, um, Thaddeus, Matthew, Philip, Simon the Zealot, and Thomas. I think that's all 12. All right, so let's start off with Peter. Uh, remember, Paul was not one of the original disciples. All right, so we've got the letters from the rock open here. We're going to look for Peter's eyewitness account of the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus, and some kind of verification where Peter says something to the effect of, I, Peter, saw all these things with mine own eyes, kind of thing. So there's one Peter, and then there's two Peter, as the MAGA crowd now calls them. Two Corinthians, right? Two Corinthians, 317. That's the whole ball game. I'm going to read through these real quick. And it, I'm sorry, what? S the scholars say that? So who wrote them then? And, and there's nothing in either of them where there's some kind of declarative statement about I, Peter, not even from a fake Peter. Okay. So, uh, apparently, uh, scholars don't believe that Peter wrote Peter 1 or 2, which, which is fine. We'll just move on to the next OG disciple. I've got, I've got us open here to John. He, he has three letters, Revelation, and an entire gospel, the second longest gospel, actually. So, we should definitely be able to find... I'm sorry, what? None of them? So, scholars are... Uh-huh. So who, do we know who wrote them? How can, how can we not know who, who wrote them? Okay. All right. So, we're going to move on to the book of Jude, which is... I'm sorry, what? Okay. All right. We'll move on to the book of James. That's... Uh, mm-hmm. Okay. All right. So that leaves us with the original disciple, Matthew, who wrote the gospel of... Oh, come on. Are you serious? How can he... It's... And this, all of the scholars are just... Well, yeah. How about... How about Andrew? Anything from him? Bartholomew? James the Lesser. Judas. Well, I guess we wouldn't want to hear from Judas, would we? How about uh, Philip? Si how about Simon the Zealot had to write something, right? He's he's a zealot. Zealot's right. Look at me. Okay. Thomas. Okay. A gospel. It's not. All right. Thanks. I am so confused right now. Can, can you replay that clip of Bill? I, I want to make sure I heard him right. I just said a moment ago that I think it can be proved, by which I mean that you can show that the best explanation of the established facts concerning the fate of Jesus of Nazareth is the explanation the original disciples, the original disciples, the original disciples gave that God raised him from the dead. All right. Well, I'm just going to be completely baffled the rest of the night. If 
if Bill says that the best explanation is the one the original disciples gave, and we don't actually have any writings from the original disciples telling us what happened, I mean, does that does that make any sense to you? Am I crazy here? I don't know. I'm going to get to the bottom of this, though. You can count on me. Until then, I'm, I'm me, the guy, the guy you can count on. Unlike Bill. Thanks for watching.